Okay, some friends of mine bought this lawnmower and uh, it's having some issues. Um, I had a look at it and right away noticed that there wasn't very much uh, compression. So I pulled the head off and there was a stuck valve. The cylinder had some light scuffing but it didn't look too serious so I unstuck the valve and uh, tried to run it and it still didn't have any compression so um, I'm assuming that there's stuck rings and probably means that this engine isn't worth repairing but instead of just making that assumption I'm going to uh, actually take a look in there and, and uh, sort that out. So I figured I'd make a video of it. Electric starter. Okay, so we've got the bottom of the engine off, pull a few bits out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to pull the cylinder head off. a crank so we can get what it looks like inside the uh, bearing surface here doesn't have any real obvious signs of lack of oil there's no signs of extreme heating that I can see so uh, I don't know I'm not I'm not calling it yet I'm not gonna say what it is until I get a look at the piston. So I'll try to make this story short. There's no damage to the rod. There's no damage to the crank. The cylinder it's a bit odd. It looks like it was run a little bit low on oil, which it was. It only had 10 ounces in it. 
but the rings aren't stuck. There's no major metal transfer on the piston. The rings are all free. The cap is good. There was a stuck valve, but it turns out the valve actually wasn't the culprit. <clears throat> what the culprit was is right here. I've seen camshafts break before, but I've never seen this happen. The camshaft actually has a broken tooth here and the gear is spinning loosely on the camshaft. I'm holding the camshaft and the gear can turn. So it looks like they're just going to need a camshaft. This is what you do for family and friends. This brand new engine here now doesn't have a camshaft. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the old camshaft. And there is the new camshaft out of the other engine. It's going to be a two week wait to get a camshaft for this. And, uh, it's not really acceptable, so I figure I'll uh, put this camshaft in for them, get them going, and uh, I'll order the camshaft. And when it comes in, I'll just put it back in that other engine. Alright, so here's the lawnmower, all washed up, all, uh, all fixed up, and uh, I'll just give her a quick start. This one here has a push button starter, it's a fancy unit. I'll just give this a push. Next up.